Hello everybody, my name is Slowpace, so welcome back to the video, and today guys, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Minecraft server for free on atanoz.org. So if you do enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, I really appreciate that. Also, I am doing a Minecraft giveaway, if you want to know how to enter, stick around for longer in this video, I will tell you how to do that. So in this video guys, I'm going to tell you all the options through on atanoz.org, all the things you can do like commands, well not really commands, it's stuff in the consoles, options. Uh, files and uh, also worlds how to upload your own worlds also give your friends access to your server so they can boot up if you're not online also it is free for everyone and uh, also you get it free forever so yeah it never costs you money so yeah it is free forever and uh, also it is not 24 7 but it is the closest thing you're going to get to 24 7 so yeah, it's not really more talking it straight into the video so basically here i am on the website now there will be a link in the description below and if you want to know how to set it up before this like how to get it all started you can watch another video linked in the description below on how to get this started up onto this page here but now if you know how to do all that you can come straight to this page where i'm at right now this is your dashboard for your server so now as you can see here is my ip is this the ip i need to join my minecraft server now you can copy this so i'm going to copy my one you'll want to be different um just call it whatever you want you can also change your ip as well so yeah you don't have to um you say you've got a name there you don't like you could also change that and i'm going to tell you how to do that as well today in this video so as you see we're on the main dashboard here it is and if you want to start your server up make sure you do this for the first time make sure you start your server up by clicking start so once your server starts just uh, stop it close it down and then yeah you can come straight back to this page like i am here so straight from the dashboard you can see a few things you can see all your player slots you can see the software and you can see the version for the minecraft i see 1.16.3 now you can change this by clicking over here or you can do it in one of the options here in a minute. So the second thing I'm going to do now is actually go into the options over here. Now in the options here you can actually change your Minecraft IP so all you got to do is click the little button right here and you can change the first bit out of here as you can see. So you just you know, replace it to whatever you want. I'm going to keep mine so I'm going to save it right there. Now if you come down further you've got more stuff here. As you can see you've got the slots. So this is the slots for how many players you have on your server. I've set mine to 10 but you can set it to 20 so you can have 20 people on your server. And make sure you click the little save button right here to save that just there so the game mode you can put the game mode wherever you want survival you've got creative in here as well i was gonna keep mine on creative so i can actually fly about you've got the difficulty you can put this to normal peaceful easy and hard from there also you've got pvp you can turn this off or on it's up to you just like that you also got cracked so yes this will work for cracked minecraft as well so if you have a cracked minecraft account you can also join these servers just leave this on for people to join also whitelist you can have whitelist as well if you want on or off it's up to you that's right there as well you've got command blocks you can uh, leave this on if you want to use command blocks you've got fly you can leave that on if you want people to fly about and you can see this is basically all pretty simple just leave all this on if you want all this stuff on so yeah basically this this is all this and if you want to add a minecraft texture pack to your server so people are required to download a texture pack you can put the link in here to use your texture pack also, you can choose the Java here, as you see, Java 8 or Java 11. Uh, I'll just keep it on the recommended one with a star on it, just like that. You can change your time zone as well. Actually, I've just got mine London. Right, from here, we can come down to the console. Now, as you see, the console says offline because my server is offline at the moment. It is not online, so yeah, it will say this. But once your server comes online, there will be a bunch of stuff in here, which you don't have to do anything. You can just leave it and it will be fine. So you've got the log as well here. So this is basically all the stuff that's happened on your server. You don't really need to go through this unless you're trying to fix an error or something like that so yeah that's just that come over to players now here you can whitelist players opt players ban players and banned ip players now if you want to opt someone just click on the opt one right here wait for it to load now simply just put in the person's username as you see i put in my game attack well that's not actually my game attack but you can put in my game attack in here so it'd be youtube underscore slow pays but as an example put your own game attack there i'm gonna put a random name in there just like that and click on add as you see it has added some random player for an opt but i'm going to delete that just in case and that one there so yeah basically just put yourself opt if you want that now i'm going to go back one you can whitelist players it's basically the same thing just click on here and you can whitelist players as well and go back to again you can um, also do this for banned players banned ip players as well it should all work the exact same just put in their gamer tag just in there right so we come down to software now and once we're on software you can change quite a lot of stuff in here so as you can see you can change the uh so you can change the vanilla you, as you can see you can change the version if you click on it you got 1.16.3 got all the other versions in here so i'll just click on the 1.16.3 and then it basically it's already installed so i won't need to do this just click back onto software 
Now, if you want to install other stuff like you know your snapshots, you got spigot, you got bucket, you got forage, you got mod packs. You can install any of this stuff. So, as an example, I'm going to install forage. So, basically, just click on forage, click on the version you want, then click on install up in this corner right here. I'm not going to do it because it's going to mess up my uh, files at the moment. But yeah, just click on install, then it should install. It should take a little bit, then it will install. Right, back over at the software right now. If you're playing on um, Pocket Edition or Windows 10, you can swap it up down over here. Right at the bottom, so you can put Bedrock here and a Pocket Edition one over here as well. So just, yeah, make sure to select whichever one you want. Simple as that. You can select those and you can do everything, whatever you want in here. So yeah, I'm going to go straight over to Files now. Now in here, you can swap your world files. You've got your server uh, documents and everything. So basically, this just takes you back over to the same page as Options. So I wouldn't really mess with this stuff. Well, there's actually a few different things in here. You've got seeds. You can put your own seed in there if you want to. Um, you can choose the world name, world type. Uh, basically, there's a few little more options in here, but you don't have to change much in here. So I'm going to go back one now. Now, you can do your ops in here as well if you want to. So if you want to opt players, you can put in their gamer tags in here, and it should opt them. You've got your world down here as well, so you can seal your world files. And I'm going to show you how to upload worlds. You do not do it from in here. You uh, yeah do not do it from in here it doesn't work properly and uh, yeah if you want to upload your own world just click on worlds over here in the corner also i want to say as well guys that i am doing a minecraft giveaway now if you want to enter so all you got to do is subscribe to the channel put post notifications on and also in the comments make sure you put your discord name so i can contact you if you have one also if you want to join my discord there's a link in the description as well you will hear updates on the giveaway on there so yeah make sure you go and join my discord to see all the updates as you see i've got my own world in here already but if you want to upload a world just click on upload then once you click on upload it's a tell you if you want to do a folder or a zip uh just whatever your world is in use that most of the time they are in uh, folders so just click on folder then you've got to find the location for your world as an example if you left your world in your minecraft uh, default save file all you've got to do is go to dot minecraft then go to your saves and then your world should be in there and yeah just select that select your world you want make sure you put it over to world just rename it to world once you upload it because it won't work uh so yeah make sure you rename it to world and then wait for it to upload and then it should work you've got your world just start up your server your world should work per perfectly fine so now i'm gonna go to backups now in backups you do need a google account for this uh, i'm not going to set it up today but basically you can have backups of your minecraft world and all your saved options and everything now basically you need a google drive uh, so you need a google account and connect it by clicking this connect button simple as that really now i'm going to tell you guys how to make it so your friends can actually load up your minecraft server say you've gone on holiday somewhere or you're out and your friends want to play on your minecraft server this is how you will do this so basically down here click on access now from here you've got to put in your friends uh atanoz username so basically my username is up here as you see slow pays so whatever your friend's name is they must give you it now once they give it to you all you've got to do is pop it in there and click add now sometimes it gives you an error saying username not found just make sure your friends do give it to you properly if you own the server and put your own username in there i don't think it works uh so yeah do not put your own username in there but once you've got your friends usernames pop it in there and they can start your world up so i'm gonna put a name in there and click add now as you see i've added someone here I don't know who this person is, a complete random person. But basically, once you've added your friends, all you've got to do is just give them a few options. Now, I would not recommend giving them everything because they can ruin your server. Make sure you do it to the people you trust. Now, basically, you want to give them start so you can start, they can start your server and stop your server, restart your server. You can give them the option to see the console. You give them the option to reinstall your server, files. You also do make it so they can access your backups. Uh, share access i would not give your friends this option because they can give anybody access to your server so i would not do that one you can get the options to upload their own worlds you can give them the option to add plugins mods all that type of cool stuff but i would just recommend clicking the uh, first one right here and maybe the second one as well so they can stop the server right but what i'm gonna do i'm actually going to take this off because i do not trust this person i have no idea who they are so i'm gonna click cancel on this person and delete them out of this because i don't know who they are and if you're once you've given your friends access if, if they want to start your server all, all they got to do is come up, up here on servers up in this corner right here then once they click on servers as you can see they can start up by clicking this red button right here 
and that should start the server. So your friend's got to do is come to the main website, click on servers, just load it up right from here. Now that is basically everything you need to know for atonos.org and uh, yeah, that's basically everything you need to know for it. If you do need more help, they've got a help button right here. You can click on that and type in anything you need to know. So yeah, basically they've got all help up here as well. Now I do hope this video was helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button. Also, if you left a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, that is it for this video. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.